Our first guest tonight is a disproportionately funny human being who is nominated for three Emmys, including two for her Netflix comedy special, Wanda Sykes, I'm an Entertainer. Please say hello to the wonderful Wanda Sykes. <laughs> Flying all the way out here from your home to be here tonight. I of appreciate course, it. Of course, it was. I mean, come on, we're back. It's good to we're be back. out That's there. Right. Well, well, technically, half of me is back. Half of you is back. Right. The writer side, I'm back. The actor side is pissed. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully they'll get that worked hopefully, out quickly. Yes, hopefully, yeah. yes. Did you have the uh, the phone go off on the plane? I know you flew in this afternoon. Luckily, I was on the ground when the phone went off. Yeah. And, and here in LA, it was early because it was supposed to be at 2:20, but at 2:18. That's right. Yeah, it was like, bah! and everything went off. I was like, I'm glad I wasn't in the bathroom because <laughs> my phone would be in the toilet right now. <laughs> scared the hell out of me. I was waiting for it at 2:20 when yeah. it, went, it scared me too when it went off at 2:18. Right. Yeah. 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 When you get on a plane, do people, uh, like, do they get excited and want to talk to you when they see you coming? Oh, well, here's the thing. Um, because, you know, like, I, we, we fly a lot. So I have, like, you know, like on American, I'm damn near, you know, two miles away from being a pilot, you know. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, so I get to board early or whatever. And so I don't think people are happy to see me when I cut past wheelchairs and everything, and, you know, like, move out the way. I got to get my drink before we take off, you know. I, but, they're you know, not. they, yeah, but they, 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 they're great. And, man, they did a great job getting me on that plane this morning because I was so late. Were and, you? Yeah, I was, I was late getting to the airport. And, and I they had helped? To, they were helpful? Yes. Wow, yes. that almost never happens anymore. I uh, know, no, no, they were, they were great because the, the pl flight was pretty much closed and they, you know, they, let you they got me on there. Yeah, I, I faked two heart attacks, but I got on there. <laughs> I was like, J I got to see Jimmy. I got to see Jimmy tonight. Did they? Yeah. Do people ever can mistake you for another celebrity? Yes, yes, and and you're gonna think this is nuts, but um, in New or but then again, if I tell you it happened in New Orleans, you'll believe it. Um, this they thought I was Lenny Kravitz. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm so sorry, Lenny. I apologize to Lenny. But yeah, That's not bad yeah, at I, all. I was like, good. I guess I guess Lenny must be working on his pecs, you know. <laughs> I know you are very interested in politics. You have you been following what's been going on this week? Oh Lord, Jimmy, it's I, you know, it, I wanted to enjoy my summer and enjoy. So I, I, I had I had to turn it off. It's, you it's, did. It's so crazy. It's 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 beyond crazy. So I'm 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 a little behind. Yeah, well, you are. I'm How behind, behind on are you? I'm behind on the craziness. Um. Oh, did you hear that? Uh, Johnny Depp and Amber Heard are having marital issues. <laughs> <laughs> Is that right? Oh my gosh, I hope they're able to. I'm sure they'll come to a, a normal resolution. I hope so, yeah. <laughs> you and your wife are celebrating a 15th wedding anniversary this month. Yeah. That's a big deal. Yeah. Do you do yeah. something for 15? Uh, we probably just, you know, like, just, you know, had just had some good old fashioned hotel sex. <laughs> you know. <laughs> That sounds That's about right. Locally, you will go somewhere local? No, no I'm going to take her somewhere. You it'll, it'll be, you know, a trip involved, but yeah. When you say you're going to take her somewhere, like, what, did you propose to I her? I did. Actually, did. I did. I proposed to her. Yeah. How does that work? And forgive me for my ignorance, but could, you know, I mean, in, in, you know, that's... Yeah, she could have proposed to me. Right, yeah. Um, but, you know, but she's selfish like that. So, <laughs> uh, but... <laughs> You do a very funny impression no, no. of your wife, uh, Alex, yeah. in, the, in your comedy special, in mm -hmm. your stand-up special. Does she like when you do that? She loves when I talk about her. I, I don't know if she likes the, you know, the way I, you know, because when, when that, yeah, that's just whenever I do her, I'm like, she's like, uh, so, uh, babe, uh, <laughs> do you think, you know, we can do something for, you know, like our anniversary? Because... <laughs> 
he doesn't do anything, you know? And, and I see on the Instagram, you know, like, you know, uh, you know, Kevin Hart, he take his wife, and other people, they do things. And, and for me, pfft, you do, pfft. That's what, yeah, first people do that a lot. Mm -hmm. Oh, this little yeah. spit thing. How much, I hope you don't mind me asking, how much does she smoke? Does she smoke a lot? <laughs> Well, well, she, she doesn't smoke at all. That's just how I see her. I just see her, you know. She smokes in your head. With a little beret and a scarf. That's, how, that's just how I see she her. She really doesn't smoke. Not at all. She doesn't <laughs> smoke at all. She hates being around smoke. So, yeah. How do you get along with her French family? Great. They, oh, the, I love them. They love me. It's, you know, and, and plus, I made sure, you know, I, I led with the, the good, on a good foot, you know, good, a good showing. Like, when I, when I first met her sister and her husband, um, uh, I told him, I, I said, say, what's, because my wife loves George Michael as well as I do, right? Mm. And, um, and so I, he was on a show in, uh, in London at Earl's Court. So I was like, hey, babe, I'm going to take you to see George Michael. I said, why don't you ask your sister, you know, she wants to go. So, I mean, come on. All you right. know, you know oh, what I'm you, saying? You played yeah, the George yeah, Michael yeah, card. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that was great. They still talk <laughs> about that. They still they talk do. about it. And then her mother, um, Alex had something going on in Chicago, so I met her there, and her mother was there. So we're sitting in the in the uh, lobby at the at the Peninsula Hotel, right? And um, you know, having having drinks, whatever. And her mother speaks very little English, but people were coming up and you know asking to take a picture with me or whatever. And her mother was like, "Just keep past. What what what? You know, that's like what 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 is happening? Just keep past." And and I and I was like, "I'm I'm kind of a big deal." <laughs> Just sweet Grande, just sweet Grande. Wanda Sykes, she's yeah. a very big deal. She's big nominated deal. for a bunch of Emmys. Wanda yes, Sykes is with us. Back to Wanda Sykes, she is nominated for multiple Emmys for her special on Netflix called Wanda Sykes, I Am an Entertainer. We are just talking about your kids uh, mm -hmm. while during the commercials. Twins, you have 14-year-old twins. Yes, 14-year-old twins. That's so crazy that they're 14 now. I know people probably it, say that all the time, but yeah, it's weird. Yeah, and no, it is. And, and you know, when they say it flies by, it, it, it does. But, but it ages you, you know, while, while it's flying by. Because, I mean, <laughs> it's, it's crazy. I mean, and, and like, both of them are, are taller now than I am. It's, it's, yeah, it's nuts. Yeah, I mean, everybody's kind of taller than you are. Okay. I mean, to be honest, to be fair. <laughs> You wouldn't say that to Lenny Kravitz. <laughs> <laughs> so at 14, is that the age where, or is it earlier, where you have to have the talk, where you give them the talk? Well, here's the thing. Um, you know, Alex is French, so I, she probably gave him that talk when they were, like, six. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you, you know, but... Yeah, so I'm like, I'm not even gonna bother. They, yeah. It's covered, it's, it's covered. taken Trust care me. of. It's, I'm sure. I'm um, sure it's covered. So, how long have you been doing stand up? Like, Man. how old were you when you started doing um, it? I started in 87. Is there anything that can throw you off, like hecklers or even just people on their phones? Is there anything that will bother you? You know, I, I don't get many heck, hecklers, but it's usually like a, 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 the environment or a situation. Like uh, one time, a guy had a seizure in in the uh, in the audience, which was crazy. Um, and then another time, oh, um, I forgot where I was, but I, you know, I'm doing a a bit, but it's it's during the setup, and the audience is laughing. They're laughing a lot, and I'm like, I haven't even got to the punchline yet. What the hell, y'all laughing at? And then someone said, "It's a bat by your head." <laughs> sure enough, there was a bat. Like just swooping down. Was you know. it, did you have a gig in Transylvania? You Where know was what? It? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, and I'm like, and y'all find this funny? I'm like, this, he's not with me. This is not part of the act. It's not, you think I shipped a bat in? Oh, this is gonna be funny. They thought Wait it was till part I do of my the... bat bit. No. Are you scared of bats? Yes. Yeah, right, yeah. Because they probably think this is a nest, you know? <laughs> So I just, I just grabbed the mic stand and ran over in the corner. It was just like, you know, just trying Waited to protect for the myself. Bat to pass. Yeah, I was like, you, get it is this funny. Out of they here. always tell you that. I remember like being a kid in Las Vegas and there were bats and where the street lights. And I put my baseball glove over my head and I'd run across the street to Cleto's house because I didn't want them to get in my hair because they told me your hair is like a nest. But uh -huh. I learned as an adult that bats aren't in nests. 
Bats okay. hang from the cave ceiling. Oh. You don't have to worry about that unless oh. you, your head looks well, like a ceiling. I guess I made sure to keep my pants up there, right? <laughs> <laughs> you, um, you went to see Beyonce over the summer. I did. How was that show? That was incredible. My it was wife amazing. went to that show. And she had to, they told her there was a dress code. You had to wear silver yes, at that I show. Wore, yes, you had to wear silver. Was your silver too? Of course, of course. They, they're, it's all silver. Every, every show I didn't she know did, that. the I Renaissance figured... Tour. Come on, Jimmy. Yeah. <laughs> you out there hanging out with Magic Johnson and Cookie. You ain't learned anything from that. <laughs> no. we, there was no That's dress code. Yeah, Magic. <laughs> yeah. Had to wear silver. It was amazing. It really was. And, and I had to go because, um, you know, because when she was in L.A., all my friends were like, they were like, yeah, yeah maybe. I don't know. And then I'm, I'm looking on Instagram the next day, everybody was at the Beyonce concert, and nobody told me, oh. right? Yeah, so I'm like, well, shoot, I got to go see her before it's over with, because um, I'm not going to be the only black woman who did not go to the concert. <laughs> you know, stuff like that, it gets to keep you out of heaven. Is that right? I feel like, that's a, if they got a... And I'm sure somebody was in there with a clicker and a, and a clipboard and was like, okay, okay, yeah, finally, huh? And finally decide to make it. Have you met Beyonce? I have not, but no. we were on a flight once, like way back. This is when she was, was still with Destiny's Child. Oh, wow, yeah. wow. Yeah, really? she smiled and waved. Oh, she did? Yeah. You didn't go over? No, no I just put the blanket over my head. It was just <laughs> terrified. Yeah, but, yeah. Yeah, she went home and told her friends, I met Lenny Kravitz today. <laughs> Well, it's great to see you. Uh, I love having you here. You're the best. One of the sites, everybody. I, the Angel Channel is on Netflix now. We'll be right back with Cassidy Hutchinson.